I laughed. I honestly laughed. I thought someone in the office was joking. That was Jamie Redmond's first reaction when she heard what she was being charged to have her damaged semi towed four miles to a storage yard. Then she actually saw the bill from Boulevard and Trumbull Towing, $10,250. Her laughter turned to outrage. I think that they're trying to profit off of a horrible accident. The longer we sat there that day, we were disgusted by it. That day was January 31st, the place I-75 in Springwells. A sudden whiteout caused a horrible chain reaction crash leaving three people dead in a tangled mess that closed the freeway for hours. Among the trucks involved was this one, belonging to DR Logistics, a trucking company owned by Redmond and her husband. Our truck was able to come to a stop before he had hit anyone, and then everyone behind him just kind of slid into him, essentially, so we were at the front of the pack. Redmond immediately sent Bill Byers towing to get her truck. When Bill Byers arrived, this is what he saw, a wall of tow trucks belonging to one company, Boulevard and Trumbull. You know, our driver was very shaken up, but he seems to remember that the tow company was there before the police were blocking everyone off. And Byers was blocked too. A state trooper told him that Boulevard and Trumbull would be towing everything. He would have to leave. Redmond's truck was towed to B&T's lot and held overnight. The next morning, she sent buyers to retrieve her semi. It was loaded with freight that had to be delivered. We had no choice but to use Boulevard, and then we had no choice to get our truck out, and then we get this bill. And I almost have to imagine that maybe they knew that. You know, looking at this bill, you would essentially think that you're dealing with a truck that is crumpled up, it's flipped over, and that just wasn't the case at all. Buyers Towing says they would have charged Redmond about $3,500, a third of what she actually paid. So why couldn't Redmond use her own company? Boulevard and Trumbull has a contract with the state police, giving them exclusive rights on most of the freeways in the city of Detroit. According to the state police, if you get in an accident on one of the freeways in the city, you can only use your own towing company if traffic isn't blocked. If traffic is blocked, you have to use Boulevard and Trumbull, and you pay what they charge. State Police Lieutenant Bob Honey told 7 Action News that because the freeway was closed by the crash, the trooper should have let him, Byers Towing, pull the truck out of there. He also said Boulevard and Trumbull's bill seems kind of extreme. Boulevard and Trumbull owner Gaspar Fiore declined an on-camera interview. A company spokesman offers sympathy for the crash victims. He won't talk about specifics of the $10,000 bill, but says the company stands behind the charges. We had dozens of folks, our employees, uh, on the scene. We worked the scene all day. We certainly uh, feel like we provided great work. Uh, we've been commended for that work, by the way, by MDOT. Uh, and so uh, we just have a difference of opinion.